Grew up on the countryside of time. Alright, so fellas, um, I actually lost some of the clips of when I was trying to install the wheels. I ordered some wheels, I ordered some Krager Soft 8, uh, they're like some regular old steel wheels. And I tried to install them, but I figured out that I ordered the wrong boat pattern. I did a quick Google search when I was trying to, you know, find the boat pattern instead of just measuring it. Um, and I ended up ordering a boat pattern for uh, the Bubble Caprices and the 9C1s. I think. They all came with a uh, five by five, and the older boxes came with like a five by four and three quarters. Y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I don't claim to know everything about these cars. I'm learning as I go, and even today I learned a lot more than I knew when I uh, initially recorded this because some of these clips are like a year old. Um, but yeah, I ordered the wrong boat pattern, so. It really that that really wasn't such a bad thing because now I got a beefier rear end. I got the 8.5 um, out of a 94 bubble Caprice, and I also updated the spindles so that I could use the the uh, bubble Caprices um, front rotors. So now I got bigger front rotors and I got a beefier rear end. So it wasn't such a bad thing. It just it was a headache that day because I wanted to install the wheels and just get rolling, but um. Yeah, I just thought I'd mention that because I lost the clip so when I initially tried to install the wheels. This car been kicking my ass so far. It seems like every time I go to fix something, um, I either order the wrong part or I forget a step or something. I see what Steve Davis was talking about when he said he always end up just ordering a bunch of shit because he always uh, just end up getting the wrong part. But we're going to try to go pull an axle and we're going to try to go pull a front rotor and spindle. Um, at pull apart i seen online that they got two caprices they got a 94 hopefully they got something left on them so we're gonna go out there looking for an axle and spindle and i'm gonna try to see if i can find some center caps too for those wheels um they take like the truck the the old rally wheels truck the center caps from the rally wheels on the old trucks damn why was that so hard to say they close at 5 30 and it's about to be three o'clock, so I'm gonna have to snatch this rear end out, you know, in two hours. I never snatched one out, so that's why there's a problem. So I don't know if it take a long time or what, but I'm gonna be on YouTube while I'm out there trying to figure it out. Uh, hopefully I can do all this within two hours. Um, I found the uh, Caprice, it's a 94. It got the, uh, the front rotor. What? One stud broke on this side, and then somebody already got the axle out. They already got that rear end. They got one more in the yard. I'm trying to find it. Hopefully, it, it's there. My little wheel down. All right, fellas, we found another Caprice. This one got the rear end on it, but um, it got the front disc that I need to front rotor. But this shit. Somebody took the drum off. Uh, all right, so it actually does have the, uh, it does have the drum. It was inside the car. I'm gonna have to clean that up, but I'm about to rip this joint out, man. To be honest, I don't even know how to tell the difference between an 8.5 and a 7C1. Uh, 
7.5. I'm going to have to look that up real quick. Right, so I found the code. This code right here, uh, GU2. That's a, uh, let's see if I can see it on the phone. That's a 2.73. Um, I'll change it later if I need to. But I'm going to rip this shit out. All right, fellas, I don't know what the hell I done got myself into, but uh, this been the hardest part, getting these little clips out of this. You know, I was about to take that off like a, a dumbass, but I don't know why, because I can either take it from uh, up there or I can just cut it. I think I'm going to cut this one. I don't think I need this one because I got this line on the other car, I think. I don't know if it's of the same length or not. Hopefully, I don't need another one because I'm about to cut this motherfucker. I'm gonna cut this line because that line go to uh go to the drum right here. So hopefully, hopefully, I can just take that line off the other car and it'll fit. Uh, we're about to find out because I'm gonna cut this shit. Man, I didn't get the motherfucker. I I did. I stopped recording because of. Uh, it was getting close to the time to go. It closed at 5.30, shit, it's 5.30, so we had to leave. But man, I was so close. I got all the bolts loose, but the rear end uh, so heavy that I can't just pull the bolts out by hand. And I don't have no, um, I don't have no uh, impact or nothing to just zap them bitches out and lift it up so I can pull the bolts out a little easier. I should have went my ass to work for this, all this shit, man. Damn. All that damn time, bro. I just spent all day working on the car and they made no progress. That's frustrating. I used a vacation day for this shit, bro. But this is just, just gonna be a long ass video because if this video ain't ending without me putting that fucking rear end on. Psych! <laughs> <laughs>